Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today we're going to be unboxing the M&S food box. So this is basically a box full of items that are classed as kind of essential in the current situation that we find ourselves and it's perfect for somebody who may not be able to go out and get the essentials that they need. This is up on their website now. They also do a vegetarian option um, as well but this is not the vegetarian, this is a standard option and I will link it under the video if you want to pick one of these up. So this retails at £35 plus you have to pay £3.95 for the delivery and it arrived about four days after I ordered it thereabouts um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through i'm gonna check everything's in here everything that is in the box is also listed on the website which again i'll link underneath but it does say that they can substitute some of the items so we'll see if we got everything they said we would now i will say this box it came in it seems a little bit flimsy it doesn't seem the strongest considering um the amount of products in here and the weight and everything it just about seems like it held up to me but there we go, just a comment on that. And it was delivered by DPD, if you're intrigued to know who delivered it. Okay, so the first item we should have received is 500 grams of spaghetti. Instead, I have been sent 500 grams of fusilli pasta. Absolutely fine. Decent enough substitution. Then I should have a tin of baked beans. Yep, got the tin of M&S baked beans. Then I should have a tomato and herb pasta sauce, which, yeah, that's what I've got. And it's in a really quite large family sized jar. Uh, then I should have a beef bolognese pour over pasta sauce, which I do not seem to have. Instead, I seem to have a chunky chicken in white wine sauce, which is a little bit different. Not quite sure about that one. Then I should have a chunky vegetable soup. I've got a chunky vegetable and beef soup fine no problem with that then i should have some basmati rice and i've got easy cut long grain rice very simple um one kilogram and i should actually only have 500 grams so happy we've actually ended up with twice as much rice so that's good rice is one of those things i seem to struggle to get hold of sometimes uh, then i should have a cream of tomato soup and I've got a cream of tomato soup, so that's fine. Then I should have two tins of chunky steak, and I have only got one. And then I've got a chunky chicken in white wine sauce. So that's what they must have substituted out for that other steak. Instead of the beef bolognese pasta pour over sauce, I've got margarita pizza sauce, which is, um, yeah... A little different but I suppose and it's smaller as well this is 280 grams whereas the one they were going to send should have been 340 grams so yeah that's okay I guess um needs must at the moment we'll accept whatever we can get um that should do a similar job I imagine we should have a rich roast instant coffee we've actually ended up with gold coffee which is a, a better um quality i imagine this is 100 grams so same size just a slightly better coffee then we should have some english breakfast tea bags instead we have been given the pure origin assam tea bags so english breakfast tea is usually made up of assam and ceylon and something else i believe but anyway this is one of the components so it shouldn't be too far off um, an english breakfast tea then we should have some Scottish all butter shortbread fingers um, and we've actually ended up with two lots of these. Oh, we should have received all butter home baked style shortbread squares. Instead, we've got two packets of all butter shortbread fingers. Then we should have a milk chocolate and we should also have a dark chocolate which is what we've got so that's great then we should have a prime corned beef which we have got then we should have a wild alaskan red salmon which is what we've got we should also have a vegetable curry which just seems to be completely missing uh, we should have roasted and salted peanuts which we have got 
We should have giant milk chocolate buttons, which thankfully we have. And we should also have Percy Pigs, which we have. And we should have four toilet rolls, which we do have. Okay, so um, just to kind of recap, I am missing a vegetable curry. So all in all, not a bad deal. It's a shame I was missing an item, but then I have got an extra packet of shortbread fingers. So, hmm. So, I mean, it's one of those. If you are absolutely certain you need specific items, this is probably not going to work for you. But if you're just looking at something that will get you through a few days of meals and stuff like that, and you want something like this, then this might be a good option. So I'll leave it up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments whether you do end up picking one of these up. I'm excited about the kind of sweet treats and stuff that are in here. Not very healthy, but nice to have some kind of treats uh, while we're all stuck in. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'll give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. Bye guys.